Greetings to another video. Today I thought I would just share what I'm doing, um, updating my winter bag. I say updating, I'm just changing a few things on it. And also I'm gonna be testing out um, a winter loo because the chain on mine in winter is just so squeaky. So basically in summer I use Squirt. This just to start, this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Squirt. Um, but that's what I use in summer and I love it. And then I was asking, because obviously in winter, I thought it was a dry lube. And in winter, I just found it like it just washed off and the chain went rusty. And then I asked all of you on my Instagram, so I was like, what is the best winter lube to use? And so many of you, I would probably say 80% of you said squirt. And I was like, well, I've already got that. So I've been looking into a little bit more how to actually apply it. Maybe I've just been applying it wrong. So I'm basically going to give my chain like a proper deep clean and apply this um, as I've been told to by many of you who've told me how to do it. So I just think I just put one on and it just wasn't enough. And, and then I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna wait for some rain. Living in Manchester, that shouldn't be that long. And I'm gonna test it out and see if it actually works because so many of you said that it does. And to be fair, there are a few of you that said, actually, no, I don't like it in winter, but I'm just thinking maybe you're the same as me and that we've just applied it wrong. So I'm gonna test it. I hope it does because then you just got one all year and I do like that Squirt just keeps your chain clean because I really, really hate when you get like that really, when you, when you put like a real, like a wet lube on and it makes your chain just black and it picks up all the dirt and then like if you get any of it on your clothes, it just stains. No, so I hope that this, this does work, but if it doesn't, I will tell you um, and then we can try and find the best winter lube together. So first thing I'm gonna change, take the chain off and change my, change my cranks. So what I do to clean my chain, put the chain, this is mushroom, like a mushroom container, and put that in there. And degreases, I either use the muck off, um, like the eco, is it eco? I thought it was eco. The muck off, yeah, biodegradable one. I really like that. Um, and I've also got the Moby eco as well. So I'll probably just use this one because it's like, you can swill it out and pour it back in a bit easier. Basically, I'll just, I've got, this is a muck off brush as well. Again, not sponsored. This was gifted to me though. Right, well, while that is soaking, I'm just gonna, just bear with me while I change the cranks over. Also as well, crank size is personal preference, but I prefer the, sh the shorter I can get, basically the shorter I can get. And, but it means that I've got a power meter on this, which is 170, which I'll be taking off. GRX that I've got for this is 4630. Um, I don't think it's, I think it, this is the, which, oh, which GRX is it? There's two, there's one that's like the very top end and one, one that's lower down. I've got the lower down one because it had a smaller chain ring. So that's why I've got this one and I've got it in 165. The reason that I've got 165, it just, it's just easier for climbing. Um, just because the circle that you make is slightly smaller because the crank's short and you, I was basically getting sore hips and I found that having um, short cranks really helped that. So if you're getting sore hips, then think about your crank length. And it's not really related either to your height. So I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and I'd go 165 on every bike if I can. Like my road bike is 165, this is 165. My mountain bike is 170 actually, but I would prefer it to be 165. So anyway, let's get this changed over. <laughs> So this power meter I've had for about four years. Um, it is the, everyone always asks me what power meter I have and it's the Stages uh, left hand crank. I absolutely love this thing. It has just been one of the best training tools that I've had and I'm very happy with it. I'm very sad that it's not on that bike anymore. What I need to do with Squirt, so you apparently completely clean all the grease that's on your chain let it completely dry and then you put one coat of this on the inside of the chain and then leave that to dry for a couple of hours and then you do a second coat a couple of hours later and then leave it overnight and then that should set it's basically a wax so we'll see well i didn't have to wait long it's morning after and it's chucking it down so i need to I need to go into Manchester anyway, so we'll go and chest out 
the old chain. I said chest out, but the test out the chain. And the, uh, and the squirt, oh my god, it's chopping down. Ugh. I know I'm going to get comments about this t-shirt. Is this not the greatest t-shirt of all time? I love it so much. It was actually from a charity shop. I think it was like a pound or something. It's one of my favourites. Anyway, back to the chain. So it stopped raining, much to my annoyance. Normally I'd be quite happy that it stopped raining, but it stopped raining. So I literally went through every single puddle I could get through just to try and make the chain as just as wet and as drenched as possible. And first impressions of coming back it's, it's handled it really well. Like I thought it was going to start feeling really gritty. Look at this. I'm proper rubbing the chain. There's literally barely anything on it. So overall, I am very impressed with this. I mean, like I say, it's only the first ride. I will do an update like when I've done a couple more hundred K on it. Um, and also what they recommend to do is after, um, if you've been out and it's been really wet, just to kind of dry your chain off just with um, like a dry towel. Um, and then add another layer of this. I don't, mm, I might just, I might just dry it off and add another layer, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. Also, um, the cranks, this 165 cranks, they make, honestly, you would not think five mil difference would make any difference, but it's just so much nicer and more comfortable to ride. So I would recommend if you are getting like any hip pain, that um, that might be something that you can change. So yeah, I would go 165 all day on my bikes because I like them a lot. So I'm gonna be doing some more winter riding. The Festive 500 is coming up. So let me know if you are taking part in that. But yeah, very happy. I can't believe how clean that chain is. Right, look, I'm literally rubbing this chain actually. Look at this. Like how, if you've got like, do you like the gross stuff? Like the really oily stuff. Look at that, nothing on it. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I will see you next video. Thank you for watching, have a lovely weekend. And I will see you on Monday for another video. Farewell, goodbye. Au revoir. Where are my island keys? Poke through, you a-hole. Conclusion, oh God, sorry. Someone's ringing me. <laughs> also, my ringtone is Antiques Roadshow from the UK, you know what that is. Anyway, let's get right in there, shall we?